and Heidi Caswell is back again. WordPress 101 for Boomers. And we've been talking about adding columns to your WordPress posts and pages. And we'd be using um, a plugin um, called Easy Columns. And we went ahead and showed you how to go ahead and get that set up. We set up and we had it into the two different columns. Now, what you didn't see at the end of the last one is these titles now look like titles. They're not just the same text as everything else. This is quite easy to do by going back into the uh, edit page. All I did was highlight it and then just drop down and I put it on heading 3 uh, instead of piece of paragraphs and then I hit save and then they were showing up. So if you want a header for your columns, that's what you would do. The next thing I want to show is how this columns is used for uh, a client. Okay, a uh, friend of mine were working on an account for Sally Bradley. She's an interior designer that's got some really nice uh, work that she does. You can see her pictures in her portfolio. And she needed a website that looked as nice as her work and that would show off her work well. And the graphic designer that put this together, I did not create these graphics, but he did an awesome job, um, had the picture like this and the text over here. Now WordPress usually works in a rectangle. It doesn't have that extra space there. But at the same time, for their homepage to look like this, I really like the way it looks. I like the way it works. Um, her other pages, they do go straight up and down. We're going to add some pictures and things to them. But um, it kind of sets the homepage off, and I like the way it works. Um, but the challenge was how to get the text to move over to the one side. So we used the columns for this. This is a one-third blank column. This is a two-third column. Here you're back in the edit post area. And this is the little thing that we click on to get the columns. And we did the one-third, two-third. See there's the one-third. And then you see a little dot there. And then we close the one-third. And then we open the two-third. And um, then we put the words that we wanted. Fashion is a trend. Style is forever. And I went ahead and changed that into like a title. So I went ahead and gave it a heading. If you look over in the HTML section, you can see it's got an H2 title on it. And we're using that in place of having the title up here. That's why it comes under the picture. That's why we left that one blank, which looks nice. And if you go on down, each of those different columns after that, they have just a little dot. You barely see the little dot there, and then you have the word. If I didn't put the dot there, it broke it. You had to have something in both sections of the columns. It couldn't be left plain. I tried adding a space, and the space did not work well. The dot worked. Um, over here, so you don't want to have a space because where it ends starts at. Just have, not have spaces between... Um, and we just had them put in there, and um, it worked. She got a website looking the way she wanted. The only problem was is we had little dots showing up here on the side. We didn't need any little dots over there messing up. So one more thing I did to hide the dots. If you have a white background, just turn the dots to white. Um, we didn't have a white background, but I picked a color that was the same that matched it. And then I just went over there, highlighted that, went into colors, and then I picked the color that, that went with it. Actually, I went into more colors. And in the more colors, you could put the exact color that you need. And I put that in there, which was not this color, so I'm not going to hit apply. But that's what I did, is I typed in the color that I needed. And I just put it in there. And that made the dots not show up. They were showing up as a black. If you've got a white background, just turn them into white. Um, then hit save and she had her page just the way that she wanted it and it does look nice I, I like the way they set it up and glad that we were able to help them get it looking like they wanted anyway if you'd like to have columns and use them here's a few examples and ways you can use easy columns give you some ideas have fun with it uh, any more questions come back on over to wordpress 101 for boomers see you there